This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, is it possible to move and scale all subtools in a folder simultaneously? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have an example model file here loaded in. Now this file has already been set up with some folders. So if I go to the tool palette and go to the subtool area here, you can see I have a main housing folder, which consists of nine different subtool parts. I then have a canisters folder, which consists of three different subtools, and then a legs folder, which consists of six subtools. Now the question is asking about taking the parts that live in one of these folders and moving and scaling them simultaneously. So let's say with the cage here, I want to take this and move it, but then I want the drums to go with it, and then I also want these parts to move as well. So is there any way to do that inside of ZBrush? So to do this, all you need to do is select one of the parts in the folder, and then come to the little gear icon for that folder and open this up. And in here, you'll have a bunch of folder actions. Now, the top three actions here are going to allow you to transpose the parts that are in that folder all together. So if I come across this transpose set here and click this, what this is going to do, it's going to look at the parts that are contained in this folder. It's going to activate the Gizmo 3D, and then it's going to put the Gizmo 3D in the transpose all selected subtools mode. So if I come across here and click transpose set, you'll see that the transpose all selected subtools option is turned on and that the parts that are in this folder are selected and then every other subtool in the scene has now been deselected or grayed out. So now with my model here and these parts selected, I can now use any of the functionality on the Gizmo 3D and manipulate these parts. So I can use the move option here to move all those parts. I can also use the scale option to scale all those parts. I can even use the rotate option to rotate all those parts. So as I'm doing this, with this transpose all selected subtools option enabled, it's allowing me to move multiple subtools at the same time. Now let's say after I have positioned the parts in the canisters folder here, I now wanna move the parts in the leg folder. So I come over to my subtool palette over here, I can click on the legs folder to select a part in there. I can now go to the legs folders gear icon, open this up. In here, I can click transpose set again. This is now going to change the selection, and you'll see that the Gizmo 3D now has the transpose all selected subtools option enabled again, and now the parts of the legs are selected. So now I can use the Gizmo 3D with these parts, and maybe scale the legs down, maybe move them up a little bit, and now I'm manipulating all six of those subtools. Now let's say I wanna move the parts that are in the legs folder, and I also wanna move the parts that are in the main housing folder at the same time. So to do this, I just wanna make sure I have those legs still selected here. And then I'm gonna come over to the folder for the main housing here. I'm gonna to go to the gear icon on this folder and open this up. And in here, underneath that transpose set, we have a transpose add and a transpose subtract. Now if I click transpose add, this is going to add the parts that are in that folder to my existing selection. So if I come over here and click transpose add, it's now going to take the parts I had selected with the legs and it's going to add all the parts that are in that main housing folder. So now you'll see over here on my screen, the legs are selected and also all the subtools in the main housing. So now I can use the Gizmo 3D to manipulate the parts in both of those folders. Let's say after I've moved all the parts in both these folders, now I just need to adjust the legs again. So I can go back to my main housing folder over here and click the gear icon here. And now I can use transpose sub. So this is going to take the parts from that folder and it's going to subtract them from the selection. And this will just leave me with the leg parts. So if you come over here and click transpose sub, you can see now the main housing parts are deselected and I just now have the legs selected again. And now I come through and move just the legs and reposition those on my mesh. So to recap, to move all the parts that are contained in a folder, you just need to first select the folder and then you just need to go to the gear icon on that folder. And then at the very top here, you have some transpose options. You have transpose set, which is going to take all those parts in those folders. It's going to activate the Gizmo 3D, turn on the transpose all selected subtools mode, and then you'll be able to move all those parts in that folder. 
If you click transpose add, this is going to allow you to add to your current transpose all selected subtools selection with the parts in that folder. And then if you click transpose sub, this is going to remove the parts in that folder from the selection that is currently with transpose all selected subtools. So if I click transpose set on this, you'll see now I have those canisters selected again. I can now come to my gizmo 3D here and then manipulate these to move those. I can also scale them up and down and reposition them on my model. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.